As a petite person, I feel like it takes me a while to successfully add denim, especially denim long pants into my wardrobe because there are a lot of good options out there for petites, but everybody's body is different. Everybody's size, shape, measurements, etc., are different. So I think it is one of those things that if you can find a good pair of denim or even a couple good pairs of denim, you do not need 20, 30, even 10 different pairs of jeans in your wardrobe. So today I want to walk through with you my petite denim capsule collection. These are four tried and true, tested with every single outfit imaginable denim that works for me, that has worked for my body as it has changed over the years, and potentially will work for you if you are looking for some new denim or a different pair of denim to add in your wardrobe for fall 2023. So one of my favorite places to shop for denim, believe it or not, is actually Abercrombie. I really appreciate their sizing and their inseam that they have available to women of all heights. They have extra short all the way up to like a tall or maybe an extra tall even. I don't shop that end of the spectrum, so I'm not quite sure, but I really, really do appreciate the fact that they have an extra short, short, and then regular inseam depending on what style you're going for and what look you kind of want to have for your denim. So this first pair of denim that I have had in my wardrobe for a couple of years now that I absolutely love, perfect for summertime and early fall, is the ultra high rise ankle straight denim and I have them actually in kind of a ivory color um, they're not pure white I feel like the era of white skinny jeans are hopefully past us I'm sure they'll come back around at some point but this denim is a beautiful has a slight stretch to it a kind of that off white almost going into the taupe family color that can pair really really well with lots of different colors for spring summer and early fall i have worn these that a bit more elevated with heels i have worn them even with birkenstocks so there's lots of different options lots of different ways to wear them so sizing wise i have them in the 25 short now i did buy this pair in an extra short and i do feel like they for me i'm 5'1 they came up almost a little bit too high on me where i wanted them to hit on my ankle but they are extremely flattering in the short size for myself they hit right above the ankle which i think for a petite is a very very flattering if you're not going for a full length denim a boot cut or a flare Go for one that slightly hits just above your ankle. It is beautiful. It will proportion you very, very well, even if you're wearing flats or if you're wearing heels. And this is just a beautiful pair of denim that I absolutely love. Like I said, they have a bit of a stretch. They have a bit of a lift. So the backside looks really nice. They have fully working pockets, which I always, always appreciate. And the waist fits me perfectly. So this is a pair that I have had in my wardrobe for, like I said, a couple years now. I style these. I these all the time they are the perfect classic pair of that off-white ivory denim that you just can't go wrong with the second pair of denim that i have in my wardrobe is actually another abercrombie pair i bought these i think it was earlier this year i will link the video about kind of my abercrombie denim try on haul that i first did where i first kind of debuted these pants they were a bit of a leap for me. I was not used to wearing a more boot cut denim, but I had worn them with a few, styled them a few different ways, nice tops, even t-shirts, heels, sandals, etc. And I kind of fell in love with the entire silhouette. So these are the ultra high 90s straight leg denim. I think I'm saying that correctly. And I actually have this pair in a 23 short. Now I do realize that that is very different from the first Abercrombie pair that I talked about where I have them in a 25 short. Like with any denim, like with any pant or basically any clothing item that you're gonna purchase these days unless it is custom or bespoke, 
you might have to try different styles of pants or tops or whatever it is in different sizes. I found that with this particular pair, a 23 short worked the best for me and my sizing. So it really varies. If you're unsure, Abercrombie has a really good return policy, so you could definitely buy a few different sizes and see what's going to fit. Again, I believe I had bought these in an extra short as well. And again, I really just liked how the short fit on me. So if you're petite like I am, try the extra short, see how you like it. Also try the short and see just where it fits with your height and with your comfort level. But these are a beautiful pair of kind of on the lighter wash end of the spectrum denim that really, really do capture the essence of a 90s style pair of denim. They're the perfect kind of boot cut style. I love wearing these with everything from heels to sneakers to even Birkenstocks if I want to be very, very casual. They look, they're very, very high-waisted. That's one thing. They come up almost to my rib cage, and that can obviously just give a different look to itself. They do have a bit of stretch to them. Um, they are probably not the most comfortable denim to be sitting at a desk of eight hours a day with, but at the end of the day, I do find that they are very comfortable, especially because they do have that boot cut kind of starting around the knee and then slightly tapering out. So they just kind of don't squeeze your calves or anything like that. But I love these denim. I think that they are such a fun and kind of different style than what I have with all my other pairs of denim. And it is definitely a pair that will last me well into the fall and winter months. My third pair of jeans are from everyone's favorite, Cezanne. So these I bought I think it was probably three or four years ago now. So I've had these in my wardrobe for quite a long time and they do not actually carry this exact style of denim on their website anymore. So I have the perfect slim seven eighths denim, which meant that the inseam was just a little bit shorter than their current perfect slim denim. Everything else fits the same because I have tried on both pairs to compare and contrast. And the only difference is the seven eighths that I have from a few years ago are a little bit shorter. So take that with what you will. The perfect slim denim that Cezanne is currently selling is still a classic, beautiful pair of more straight leg denim that are a bit on the maybe skinnier side and they are absolutely incredible. They do have a bit of stretch to them. These are the most comfortable denim I have ever worn. For me, the rise comes perfectly. It's considered a high rise, but it doesn't go all the way up to my rib cage. It hits at such a beautiful spot on my body. And again, the slightly cropped makes my ankle show a little bit so that again, that proportion is very, very good for me as a petite person. I have these actually, again, sizing is all over the place, so get multiple sizes. I have these in a size 27. I bought that exact same pair of denim, size 27, in their dark wash. It fit me totally different. I could have gone down to a size 25, maybe even a 24. So again, if you are not sure what sizing you should go for. A, Cezanne has a good sizing chart on their website. Not so much with denim, but do some snooping. You might be able to find a more information, but order a couple sizes, order your size that you normally take, and then I would say probably a size down. Um, and then you can just kind of compare and contrast and see what's going to work and what's going to fit you. Again, I have had these for almost four years now, multiple washes obviously wearing them for every single different occasion and they have not faded, they have not worn out, they wash perfectly, they don't stretch out. They are honestly probably the most perfect pair of denim that I could ever imagine. Now in previous videos, I have tried on for you the Brute Sexy denim in different washes and different colors. I think that this is a really interesting style of denim as well. It's more that 90s style, more of a straight leg, high rise, and I think they're beautiful, but I think that if I were to buy these, I would definitely need to get them tailored because they are just a little bit long for me. They don't quite hit quite right. I would want them right up above my ankle or right at my ankle instead of just hovering over my shoe. Obviously different people have different preferences. That's just my preference and what works for me and my proportions. But 
No matter if you're petite or not, the perfect slim denim on the Cezanne site, whether you're looking for a dark wash or a a black wash or whatever it is, they are going to be a very, very high quality pair of denim for the price point. And then last but not least, I wanted to talk about the most iconic pair of denim that could potentially ever exist, and that are the Levi's Icon Wedgie Fit Denim, which I'm currently wearing right now. These, maybe, okay, maybe they're not quite as iconic as the Levi 501s, but these fit me like I want the Levi 501s to fit me as a petite person. So I found these actually off of Amazon. They're an incredible price. You cannot mess with a classic. There's something about not necessarily needing to pay $250 for a pair of denim. I obviously one day would maybe love to have an A Goldie pair of denim or a Citizens of Humanity pair of denim, but honestly, the Levi's, their Icon Wedgie Fit, the 501s, whatever it is there you can't mess with the classic these are incredible denim they are a denim fabric they don't have any give they don't have any stretch in them so i am wearing just a straight size 25 and they fit me exactly like i want them to fit they are comfortable they loosen up and they definitely conform to your body over time i've had mine for about a year and a half now and they are honestly some of the most comfortable denim that I could ever put on my body. They just fit every single time. They work. They're great. I don't have to think about them. The only thing I do have to do is cuff them once on the bottom because otherwise they would be too long. But with this style, because they are more casual denim, I don't mind cuffing them. I think it actually works really, really well with all the casual stylings that I have with this pair of denim. So I am not at all interested in getting them tailored or anything like that, but I, you definitely could if you wanted to. So keep that in mind. But these Levi's Icon Wedgie Fit are such a classic. They have them in so many different colors. Obviously, I will link all of these pairs of denim in the description down below where you can shop them, where you can find them, where you can find different deals and sales and things like that because like things like the Levi's are sold all over the internet so you can definitely find a good deal and sale on those. And then I did just want to mention that while I am completely content and happy with these four pair of denim in my wardrobe, if I were to add another style in for fall and winter, I would do a beautiful dark indigo wash denim in more of a straight or skinny leg style. I would still want them kind of that high rise or mid rise style. And there's actually a pair from Banana Republic Factory that I am actually interested in potentially buying. So if I do buy those, I will kind of give a little updated review either here on YouTube or over on my blog. But I feel like having a pair of dark denim is such a classic. You cannot go wrong with them. But all of these styles are classics. They're not going to go out of style. They're going to stay relevant. They're going to stay timeless and you they are going to allow you to create so many beautiful outfits so if you are just at a loss for maybe pants to wear for fall and winter because we've been living in shorts for so long or you want to elevate something beyond just your leggings for day-to-day -day wear then any one of these styles are going to be beautiful for you no matter if you're petite or not like i mentioned i will leave all of the items that i've talked about all the denim and even the denim that I might potentially add into my wardrobe this fall winter season down in the description below. You can shop those different styles. I will put my sizing, measurements, etc. all there so you can check that out if you want. Subscribe if you're new, give this video a thumbs up, a like if you did like it, and then obviously leave a comment. What denim do you have in your wardrobe? What do you like? What do you find is timeless classic for your body type and size? Or if you found an incredible brand of petite style denim that you want to share with us, please let me know. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.